Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex here. I had a pretty good New Year's and I'm hoping all of you did too. Now it is finally 2020 and I'm ready to get back to uploading videos as I never really stopped doing. But at any rate, I have a brand new video for all of you today. Literally a year ago, I actually just checked this, it was January of 2019, I was working on this game that is basically unnamed, but I called it Project Quest. I had just started learning Lua at the time and using the Love 2D game engine, so I wanted to create a very simple mobile game using Lua and Love. I was also really into clicky type games like Cookie Clicker, stuff like that. I can't think of what the genre is called off the top of my head just yet. But anyway, I create a very simple, like a dungeon crawler sort of like clicker game in Lua for mobile. So that's what I'll be showing you all today. Okay, so I'll be showing all of you like, you know, procedurally how you go through the game. Uh, this is a level select screen, so it's actually pretty simple. I just wanted to add this cool little effect where like if you tap on the screen, it'll show the little damage counters that you get when you also hit an enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first level here. We have a rat is like a little enemy. You know, whenever the screen flashes red, he's hitting you. I'm just going to tap him a little bit. Uh, he died, so we get the sword, which is a power up that just increases our damage, basically. Um, so, you know, it's just like three rats in this level. Pretty easy. We win. This build of the game, actually, all three levels are just three rats. I kind of forget why I did that. Um, so, you know, like we got the little castle and then we have like the regular little hut uh, inside that world there. And really, that's mostly the entire game or as much of it as I had actually gotten around to programming. So I'll show you the code in a minute, but once you get through the level select screen, you select a level and you have these little worlds, like the layout with the different levels inside of it. So a world will have a few different, like, you know, you got like a castle, some villages, stuff like that. You tap on one of them, it takes you a string of enemies, you fight them. That's pretty much the game. I did have a few plans for other mechanics, like, you know, power-ups or even spells you could use that might recharge. Um, maybe some enemies might put up like defenses around the screen that you have to tap to break, or maybe they'll have like, you know, some weak spots that pop up around the screen from time to time that you want to hit, so that way you can do more damage. And the tuning really isn't up that much, but you know, I thought it'd be interesting enough to put on this channel because it was like my first big Lua project and my first big Love 2D project. And I got it to work on mobile, which is pretty cool. Now, it is a little boring with just a bunch of rats, so I'm actually going to sort of undo that latest change I had done in there, put in the prototype levels, as you can see on the screen here, and show you guys some of the older enemy designs that I had in this game. So now that I've done that, let's go ahead and run the little script I wrote to put onto mobile, and we'll see how this changes the game. All right, back to level select. Damage stuff still working easy. Uh, so we're gonna go here. Right off the bat, we have a slime enemy, a classic of these dungeon explorer games. You know, you got like a skull and eyeballs some bones, a little ruby in there. Uh, so, you know, just three of them, not too bad. Uh, and I guess the castle doesn't have any enemies. So, uh, wait, that shouldn't be happening. But anyway, so we're just gonna go right back in, no problem, go up to this other village. We have our classical rat. Uh, so we're gonna take out some rats here. And there's a goblin. Look at him. Yeah, I had a lot of fun designing the different enemies, especially the goblin. I wanted to give him like some personality to them, to each of them. And here we have a grass box. He's a unique enemy. Uh, they're supposed to be like, sort of like a loot box that you have to fight, kind of like a mimic from like D&D. Uh, then we have some golems here, another grass box. You know, he's got like a little lock. It's his eye. I thought it was pretty stylistic. And another golem. Yeah, the golems and the goblins and the grass boxes are all like placeholder enemies for right now. I never really finish up their design. Uh, and you beat the last golem, you get a key, you just take out the rat, and it's super easy. Uh, so, you know, it really isn't that hard of a game. I, I haven't tuned up the enemies to be super high health. Um, but I don't know, you know, maybe I will revisit this game at some point, just like flesh it out and then maybe even release onto the app store as like a Lugo Corp product because eventually I would like to make a few games as part of Lugo Corp. Okay, so I promised you all I'd walk through some of the Lua code that went into creating this game. So I will, you know, it's not too bad. We start with our main.lua, 
Now, if my organization is kind of stupid to some of you, sorry, this was my first Lua and Love 2D project uh, for the most part, so don't come at me in the comments, please. Uh, you know, it's like your basic, you have like your Love 2D inputs and drawing update load functions. Um, and then I have everything configured, like you'll, I'll import everything from like UI. I like to keep very organized. The interesting thing about Lua is that it's very unstructured as, you know, compared to a language like Java, which is extremely structured. Lua is very unstructured. So you sort of, you know, it's like Python or JavaScript where you have to define that structure for yourself. And I think in Lua, it's even more apparent than in those other scripting languages, because in Lua, you don't really even have classes necessarily. Like you will create object oriented entities in Lua manually. Like there's no class keyword. Really the way you do it is in the way you define these functions and the Lua tabling system sort of emulates like a class hierarchy sort of. It's interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's generally pretty simple code. Um, really what you might be interested in is like, how do I get Love 2D working on mobile? Uh, I actually have no idea. <laughs> I remember scouring the internet for anything that, that could help me. I came across a YouTube video which had like some stuff in the description about like how to build this stuff on Lua. I sort of downloaded that package and I wrote this script to just run it for me. Um, you know, so that's really just what I did. Uh, you know, I use an ADB command just to see if the my phone's attached. Uh, if not, it'll say you gotta attach a phone. And then it just, you know, it'll run the build script, do all that, then it actually deploys. And it's really nice too, it'll even open up like a new little terminal and it'll show you like all the output. So if I put in like a print statement into the Lua code, you can see it in the extra terminal that opens up. Now, I know you've probably heard me ramble on for far too long, but originally when I wanted to actually finish this game all the way through, as I was developing it, I took a video of each like build of the game every day that I worked on it. So that way you could see it sort of like glow up, like, you know, like a one picture each day for like a hundred days type challenge, something like that. So I'm just going to show that footage off right now. Okay, and that is everything there is to that old Project Quests game that I worked on like a year ago today. If you found this video entertaining, please consider giving me a like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media, or click the notification bell so that way you never miss out when I upload a new video. If you have a particular topic in Lua or any other language that you'd like to see on this channel, just leave it in a comment down below. Uh, apart from that, I don't have too much else to say, so thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next week.